Hey, what's going on, guys? It's me, Mike. Today, I wanted to uh, teach you guys how to do MIDI Learn on the Phantom. Got a question about this on one of my videos. The guy was like, how do you add reverb to piano sound? And I figured he meant, you know, how do you increase and decrease the amount of reverb you can have on something, you know, without touching the mouse. So that's what we're going to do today. The first thing that you want to do is make sure you have your phantom not in pan and level, not on control, but on assign. That's key. You have to have the phantom set to assign in order for this to work. Okay? Um, then what you want to do is, and I'm going to switch screens so you can see it real quick. Okay. So what you want to do is grab your mouse over you know, one of these sends over here. I have my reverb over here is set to A, okay, which corresponds to this first send. You'll see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna raise it up with my mouse. Check one, two, one, two, one, two, check one, two, wow. Yeah, reverb, a lot of it. So, uh, how I do that, right? How do I make sure that my, I gotta, first of all, we wanna make sure that the phantom, the phantom, okay, is again set to assign and zone one, okay, assign zone one, then, then we're going to come over here to the thing right here, and you're going to right click, you have to right click it, and scroll down here to edit MIDI map, now from here, you're going to select the first send, or whatever send you're you're wanting to MIDI control and then just start check this out what you're gonna want to do is just start twisting this knob now this knob movement will correspond to this knob right here you can see that it has a new MIDI value point slash two eight or whatever that says and then to disengage from this grayed out screen you simply come down here to edit MIDI map and just deselect it now theoretically if I hold on let me switch my camera real quick if I see how my 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 fingers right here on the knob if I turn this you should see it coming up on my screen without me using the mouse you guys see that Check, check, one, two. Ooh. Now this also applies, obviously, to the pads as well. The way I have the pads set up, on the mute, you see that? You see how I just cut out there and I touched the number one right here? It corresponds to that number one, yellow, green, whatever the hell the color that is. That's the mute. And there I am back again. Same for number two, same for number three, same for number four. Now, that the reason I do that is because I can have all the clips in Ableton playing, and all I have to do is take them out one by one, and I can arrange the music in a different way. I know people use these pads for all kinds of other stuff, for triggering the samples and actually drumming and stuff, but for me, once you have everything established... It's just a quick button press, you know, to drop out drums or to drop drop in drums or take out certain parts and rearrange the the melody and stuff like that and the composition. It's it's really intuitive. Doing having the control over the delay and the reverb from the knobs and then having the ability to do this is awesome. I've also mapped my modulation controller in the exact same way I just described to you guys. So the main points to remember is to have this button set to a sign and then select one of your your zones and then do MIDI learn and then start twisting your knob and then you know disengage that MIDI learn and it should take to it. I've set up a couple of Ableton uh, templates in this way so that every single time I open Ableton, it'll work just like this and I don't have to reset it up. I highly recommend that you guys try doing that too. 
I hope this helps somebody. If you guys have more questions about MIDI learn functions with the Phantom and stuff and how to marry that to your DAW, just leave a comment and I'll do my best to respond. All right, I'll see you guys later. Have a great day.